Uh, I'm originally from uh, a town called East Liverpool, Ohio. It's uh, basically the last town before you get into Pennsylvania or West Virginia. So it's like, it's a, you know, one of those really small towns, you know, that, uh, that you know, everybody used to work at the steel mill, you know, before it, it, that moved to Mexico. So uh, now everybody's, uh, now everybody works at Walmart. So that's pretty much where I'm from. I thought I was too good to work at Walmart, so uh, I cut grass uh, for a living. Because uh, my mom, I, I worked at the country club uh, at home. Um, and my mom is the office manager at uh, the country club. So, like, we're not members <laughs> by any means. But, yeah, that's how I had the in to get the job, cutting grass for four bucks an hour. And uh, that's how, I, yeah, I got attacked by a swan and everything. So it was, uh, this is, yeah, it was great. I mean, honestly, like, I would, if I weren't doing comedy, like, I have a college degree that I'm still paying for, but I, uh, I, I, I would honestly, if I, if I didn't do comedy, I would go back to working, uh, you know, I would go back to cutting grass or patching potholes or something like that, because it's really, like, I used to, you know, I used to, when I was first starting out stand-up, like, that's where I still work those jobs, and I used to, you know, like, I used to miss it, like, when I was going and doing, you know, like, if I'd have to leave early to go to a comedy club or I was on the road or something like that, it kind of sucked because I was like, I, I really wanted, I, I hated what I was missing out on at work, you know, because there would always be something going on. It was like going to camp every day. The, the comedy that I do and the kind of comedy I like is is honest. Like, I don't, like, there's nothing that I do that is made up or, like, you know, I mean, I exaggerate and I always put my point of view in on it, but it's like, I don't, I like to, you know, to do, I like to do things that people relate to and understand and everything, everything comes from reality for me because I, I can't, I can't do anything that's not true and like really commit to it and, you know, and be, you know, and, and be motivated to tell people about it. So everything that I do is, is basically, you know, is, is, is pretty much as close to reality as possible. You know, I always tell people, like, my comedy basically comes from, I'm a cross between my parents. Like, my, uh, like I was talking about my mom is the office manager at a country club, and she's like, she's like a total people person, a sweet, you know, little, it, her name's Jean, she's so nice, and everybody loves her. And then my dad's kind of the crotchety old, like, you know, uh, blue collar, like, you know, angry at the world guy. So I'm basically like a people person who hates people. So it's, uh, it kind of, it's kind of made me, I guess, funny. And, uh, you know, I, I basically just try to, uh, I try to be, I try to be the voice of reason, I guess, you know, like the whole world to me is nuts and everybody else is stupid except me. And uh, I think a lot of people feel that way. So I think that's why maybe they kind of relate to what I'm talking about, because that's what it is for me. Every day I go out and try to deal with how stupid everybody is. I guess I knew I wanted to be a comic probably around age 11. Um, you know, I was, I was always like the guy that, you know, like I was always kind of funny, I guess, you know, around my friends and stuff like that. But like, as I got into like, you know, like I remember like sixth, seventh grade, I, I used to, it always, it all started because I used to tell stories, you know, like about whatever happened to me whenever. And, you know, I'd tell my friend and then he'd be like, well, can you tell him what you told me? And then each time, like I told the story, it would kind of, it kind of get bigger, you know, and I'd have, I'd have more like punchlines and I realized that like I was kind of young but I was basically working out material on people and it got to the point where like even though I was only like 11 or 12 I would tell these stories to adults and they would laugh and it was like it just kind of became who I was because I mean you know it's, it's kind of weird you know because I always wanted to be like an athlete you know I, I mean but obviously it's not happening so um I, I just, it kind of became my way of, you know, you know, making myself somebody. Being involved with Blue Collar is like, is such, it's really like, I, I can't even put into words how excited I am to be a part of it because, uh, you know, all along through my, throughout my career, you know, people have always kind of come up to me and say, hey, do you ever work with Blue Collar? And I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know any of those guys, but I mean, it's, 
it, it, it was always something I really wanted to do because it's, you know, A, it's really, you know, I think the people who like blue collar comedy are the type of people that, you know, I, I think I'm kind of talking to when I do my stand up. Um, because, you know, they're just, I think they come from the same place as I do and kind of have the same life experience that I do. And also just being a part of like, being a part of it, something like this is so great to just, you know, to, to know that, you know, uh, under this label, I guess, people are really, you know, they know what they're getting and they're really coming out to see real stand-up comedy. It's not about, you know, it's not about celebrity or sensationalism at all. It's just about comedy and they really want to, that's what they're coming out to see. And it's so cool to know, to, you know, to go up in front of an audience that's, that wants to see that.